What's special about this banknote, Hester? It's a 50. It is a 50. Which is a nice amount of money. What's special about it then, Emma? It has Alan Turing's face on it. And also the Queen's. But I want to concentrate on Alan Turing today. It was the very first gay man on a banknote. What was amazing about him is he was a war hero that saved millions of lives in the Second World War by decoding 36,000 German messages. He was an incredible mathematician and was very profound in his advancements. Mm -hmm. He created the world's first computer. Oh, did he? Yep. But after his success in the war in 1952, Alan Turing was forced to endure chemical castration. Oh no. Yeah. After being prosecuted for homosexual acts in Manchester. And I know the pub, the very pub that it happened in. It's a great oh, pub. You? Yeah. It's a great pub. It is a really good pub. Bad history, good pub. He got chemically castrated by the same British government he had helped in the war. That is not gratitude, is it? No. He then killed himself in 1954. Alan. By eating an apple containing cyanide. And actually, some say that the apple logo, with the bite out of it, comes from and is inspired by him. Ah, computers. computers. This makes a lot of sense. And then in 2013, the Queen actually pardoned Alan Shoring, and the British Secretary of Justice said that he should be remembered and recognised for his war efforts. I mean, that's the least he deserves, eh, I think. And that is why he's got one of, one of I can't remember what they're called, but one of the honours that like only three people have. Oh, from really? The Queen. Yeah. And now he's on the £50 note. And now he's on the £50 note. That's a good way to remember him. Really unfortunate what happened to him. I wonder why they did that to him. Done, like, why would they... Well, back then they thought it was, like, not only a illegal, it was, like, a chemical thing that was wrong with you. Yeah. Like, they saw it as a psychological and chemical imbalance, almost, that then resulted in these horrible, sort of, tortured ways of to get him to not perform his homosexual acts. Which is just crazy. It is crazy. And it's like, why that ended up being the narrative is something that I think people don't think about that much. We come to accept that that's the narrative, that it was a illness. I think a lot of that comes from British colonialism, the way that they treated queer people all around the world, and the way they divided countries up for not fitting into their heteronormative society. People like Alan Turing and many, many, many millions more bore the brunt of that. Poor Alan. I don't really know what to say. It's just really sad. It's just, honestly, it just feels like, what can you, like, if I could go back to time and just, ugh, just shouldn't never have happened. Yeah. 